Hey guys, it's Will. Um, today I'll be showing you how to use the Netgear Web Base Genie. Um, you can also get an app for your iPhone or possibly Android. Okay. Alright, now we're going to open Chrome or you can open any browser. Any browser will do. Um, okay. Now, what you want to go to, you have one of you have one of two options. You can either do routerlogin.net, right there, routerlogin.net, or, like I'm going to be using this video, you can go to 192.168.1.1. Now, this also has, I mean, sorry. This also is, you can also use this for other routers too, but just a reminder, this is a Netgear router video, not a Motorola or whatever. Got no other brand but Netgear. Okay, you'll get a little box that says Auth authentication required. Um, you'll get this, you'll, you, you can even do it from your iPod or whatever. Username is admin. Password is pa the password is the is password. Click login. I would say in Chrome, so it's already there. All right. Now we will go to um, wireless. Okay. We're at wireless. Um, alright, some things, just a little quick overview of this. Enable SSID broadcast, keep that enabled. Um, you can't really disable the network, so, unless you, impl or unless you turn off the router, or just, you know. Alright, um, let me just change this to the default SSID. Okay, this is actually was the default uh, SSID, which is the name of the network, but I'm not going to bother with that. Alright, um, uh, you can change your SSID from Netgear82, for example, to uh, private uh, my home network. Those are just some ideas. Security. Um, this is enterprise mode, you have to have like a server kind of thing for it. I'm not too well in that, but, um, yeah. And these are, uh, just password required things. And then none is just, well, none. <laughs> Open networks. Alright, we will go to attach devices next. Alright, here we are at... <clears throat> Sorry. Here we are at attached devices. Um, as you may have noticed, um, wireless devices are allowed, basically. And uh, wired, I don't have any right now, so um, they will appear there if you have uh, any Ethernet cables connected. Um, yeah, this is good for just making, just allowing people on your network. Alright, now we will quickly visit access control and then we will come back to visit these two in a minute. Alright, it says here go to access control, um, click on that. It'll take you here to access control. Um, Another way you can access it is also going to advanced and then going under see. Okay. Sorry guys, I always forget where I go. <laughs> okay, advanced. No. Sorry guys. Okay, under security, 
access control. Sorry, when I wandered there the first time, I didn't see it. Okay, and let's just wait for this to do. Okay, guys, now let's load it. All right. Um, if you turn that on access control, you can block devices from the internet completely. You can set time limits, all that stuff, and then you can also do this to check all and delete all devices from the past um, wireless thing. Um, you can remove them all from this if you want. I'm gonna actually probably remove some certain devices later myself. All right. Um, do not probably do this, but um, I wouldn't recommend turning on this. But it says block all new devices from connecting. We're you would probably want to leave it on allow. Are you? Um, it shouldn't affect your current devices though. Unless you turn the feature off, then you can't connect any of your own new. Like say you bought an iPad like the day before and you, you spent the night somewhere and then finally got home the next day. You wouldn't be able to connect. You would have to, a previous uh, currently connected device would have to go in and disable the block all new devices from connecting checkbox under advanced security access control. So don't do that my highest recommendation don't do that all right and then you can you know delete devices from its memory from the network's memory all right um now we're going to go back to basic and once as soon as i get there we will um visit parent parental controls and where that will what website that'll take you to and guest network Alright guys, here we are at the website that Parental Controls re redirected us to. Um, here you can download... Uh, okay, you can download Genie. And it is on... On... Um, sorry. It is on the Android as well. App stores, I think, is probably the most popular. I actually, it reminds me, I do need to get the um, desktop version for myself. So, anyway, um, I'm very familiar with the App Store app. Here's an example right here. Um, that's what that's what the desktop looks like. Basically, I think it's it's very similar to the web based. This looks a little bit different. All right, now we have covered parental controls. Now we will go back to guest network. Or, sorry, we will go to guest network. All right, guys, here we are at guest network, and you want to leave this uh, checked. If you don't want it on, then you can uncheck it and let people on your modem, let them hack it. If you don't care what you data, then unsecure your main network or secure it, give them a password, let them hack it, whatever. You can do it, I don't care. It's up to you. Anyway, if I were you, I would keep that enabled. It does protect your data, it does protect, yes, it does protect stuff. Enable it to steady broadcast, I would leave that enabled. Do not check this, my, high, my second highest recommendation of the day. Allow guests to see each other and access my local network guest wireless network name. Which basically means they can log into the modem if you haven't already changed the gateway password. If you if they have if you have and they ask for it. My third recommendation. Don't give them give that out to them. So I wouldn't recommend that. If you leave default, then well, they can get in, period. Alright. WPA2 and uh, PSC AES is one security option. The other one is this one. And the Enterprise is where, like, for Apple, for example, or even Windows, and it'll ask for a username and password. 
when most times it's just a password and that's I'd rather pick one of these at the top two I have this as the highest security from my current one or my current main network in the guest network I do have this security a little bit lower but it's a guest network so the password's simpler so it's kind of easier to get into but no one can actually do so I don't really care um that's what I am Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I will um, put a link in the description for uh, the app. Uh, I will put a link in this in the description for downloading the app, desktop, mobile, iPad, whatever. I'll put all those links on down there. Alright guys, thank you for watching and um, have a great day. Bye.